this week we're going to be talking about inheritance. And we've used inheritance before when we've done Java programming. We used it in Greenfoot when we had maybe actors. Uh, we, we created, for instance, a crab that, that inherited uh, methods and fields from the actor class. Uh, we may have had inheritance in some of the other projects we did as well. Um, it's not a new concept to us, so I'm going to review it a little bit, and we're going to talk about a model that we're going to go through as an example, and we're going to learn to implement inheritance in C Sharp. So inheritance allows us uh, to use an existing class to create a new class. So we don't have to code the same things over and over and over. The new class inherits the members of the class it extends. So over here is the example that I'm using for this. Um, for We have an automobile here, and its members are, has a make, a model, mileage, and price. Those are all properties of our automobile. It also has a method called step on it. All right. So that's a generic automobile. But then we're going to make a spe more specific type. We're going to specialize the automobile. So uh, we're going to specialize the automobile by making a car. And a car also has a make, model, mileage, and a price. And it has a method called step on it because it inherits. And this line here with the arrow on the end is showing us that car inherits from automobile. So car will have all of these things that an automobile has, but car also has, uh, we're gonna keep track of the number of doors. All right, and the same thing for trucks. We're gonna make a truck class that also inherits from automobile. It will have a make, model, mileage, and price for properties. It'll also have the method for step on it that it gets automatically from the automobile class. But it also has a couple of its own members. Uh, one is a property called is four wheel drive and the other one is a property called is diesel. Now we could also have methods down here on these and, and more things that we wanted to add on to trucks or cars as they specialize from automobile, but this is gonna be enough for this demonstration. Um, and then here they're actually talking, a sedan, pickup truck, and SUV. So we could have more than just car and truck class. We could have a car is a, is a sedan, really, uh, depending on how many doors it has, I guess. A uh, pickup, we use the word truck instead, and SUV. So we're just using a slightly different version of the example uh, that they talked about over here. So when an object is a specialized version of another, of another object, there is an is a relationship between them. So here, over here, they're showing uh, basically a, a kind of a UML diagram using pictograms. Um, but an ins, uh, grasshopper is a insect, is an insect, right? A bumblebee is an insect. Okay, So they are those things. They are specialized versions of the class they inherit from. So all insects have certain common characteristics that can be described by an insect class, just like an automobile they all have common characteristics that we can describe by this more generic class up here. But then the subclasses have its own unique characteristics described by their classes. So all the things from the parent class are in the child class, or the child class may have specializations. All right, so inheritance involves based and derived classes. So automobile in this example would be our base class, and it's sometimes called the super class. Car and truck are the derived classes, and we often, often call them subclasses. So you hear a lot of the terms that mean the same thing thrown around, and depending on where you work, who you work with, uh, certain languages tend to use certain terminology, but they all mean the same thing. Uh, the derived class inherits fields, properties, and methods from the base class 
and we do not have to rewrite those. So we'll see them in a minute. We'll, we'll create an automobile class with all these things. Then we'll create a car class that inherits from that class. And we'll create a truck class that also inherits. And we're going to learn about a few uh, new concepts along the way. Uh, inheritance notation, we'll get to that in our code coming up. But assuming that there's an automobile class, when we write our car class, we use the colon. So when we declare the class to be a car, we use colon and we name the class that inherits from right after it. So the colon indicates that the class is derived from another class. So in the next video, we'll create a project and we'll start coding.